Well, good morning, everybody. It's Gina. Today we're going to start the Fly Lady system. I don't really know a lot about it. Sophia over at Migrate Challenge issued a challenge, and I accepted. I'm not going to follow as strictly and severely as she probably is because it's my first time and I don't really know enough about it. But I know the very first thing that you're supposed to do is fill up this sink back here with hot water and bleach and let it sit for an hour. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then Sophia on day one started at her back entrance. My back entrance is tiny, but I, I will do that um, because basically I don't know that I have ever cleaned my door, my back exterior door in the seven years I've lived here. So hang along with me. We're going to do those two things and see what our next step is. If you want to follow along, I will put the playlist below and you can watch everybody or if you're a creator, you can create it as well. And um, let's see what we can do to clean, at least for now, because I know when I proclaim that I'm going to do something every day of the month, I don't do it. So I'm not doing that. When I can get to it, I am. Come along with me. Let's see what we can do. wondering why I changed brushes that brush is my dish brush and I got ready to clean it clean with it this is my brush that I clean with my bathroom sinks and my kitchen sink and I'm gonna go ahead and just put some straight bleach on this sink because I can't fill this side up and let it sit here as well now one thing I haven't done is they want you to fill it all the way to the top On day one, if you're doing baby steps with the fly lady, that is literally all you're supposed to do, the sink. And in the interim, while this is sitting here, I'm gonna go clean my back door. And I'm a little grossed out just saying, just thinking it and saying it. And honey's gonna be like, you did what today? That's what he's gonna say. Okay, I guess these are the three kinds of cleaners that I'm gonna to try to use on this door. I see a little spider up in the corner. We had a spider when we first got married up in the corner. We, we were young and stupid. We kept the spider and named him Henry in our first little apartment and he stayed there for probably the better part of maybe three or four months. I'm gonna say about a, a third of the year. He just hung around up there in that corner. I have no idea how long he's been up there, but we're going to call him Henry too, and he's going to go away today, sadly. So I'm going to work on this door, and I did change clothes. I put a pajama top on that I don't care if it gets bleachy, and I put a jacket on so you wouldn't have to see my bare arms because you don't need to see all that. <laughs> Sophia, I gotta say, you are the only person that could make me do this. And the lighting, I'm sure, is terrible. Let's see if it's better if we move you over here.
Well, well, I just filmed an entire segment and I wasn't filming. So repeat, nutshell, I'm not doing that door. It's gross. I did do the handles and kind of around the handle area. I'm not doing that door, it's gross. Honey has a rule, it's not my rule, it's his rule, but I'm ha I'm going for it this time. Anything outside the house is his domain and anything inside the house is mine. Even though he's amazing inside the house and can clean circles around me, that's kind of his rule. So he's gonna do that door, I'm not doing that door. <laughs> Call me prissy if you want to, but what you missed is I already threw away the rag I was using and I literally used it for like three minutes. It's got dog, drool on it from my son's dog. It's got just nasty. It's not my thing. Call me prissy if you want to. I'm gonna go back to cleaning my sink. <laughs> Which by the way has migrated. So the suds have kind of moved from there to there. This side of the sink is already looking pretty good. About 16 minutes in. Supposedly some kind of filmy deposits will be off in this water when it's done. I know we do the kitchen next week, but I'm just playing catch up this week um, to kind of see what I can do to um, catch up to her or be in the general vicinity of her. I'm not gonna be exactly where she is because I have to watch her videos first because I don't know. Now I will tell you that right here, I emptied this out before Christmas to clean it and I moved all the knick-knacky booky type things in here after I took the harvest stuff out of it. So if you followed me for any amount of time, you'll know that. The door stuck. But I moved all the cutesy stuff out of that shelf and kind of put it in here. And this was supposed to be just a, a housing place for me to move things and get set up because I was in a declutter mode then, and here it still sits, we're now in February. All of these books go in there, these pretty books, and it looks really pretty in there if I do it. And I guess right now, I'm going to clean the inside of that cabinet out. That's it for now. So I'm gonna use the Method Wood for Good Cleaner. This is my favorite wood cleaner. and clean this all up inside and out not on the glass I, I found that if you spray this near the glass it doesn't uh, it doesn't work out well for the wood and it doesn't go away very well Smells amazing. watching Toy Story. Okay. I have to say just doing that wears me out. Now, if you're new to my channel, I say welcome. Glad you came along. This should be fun. I'm a 53-year-old grandma who has spent a quarter of a year in a coma or in the hospital with a coma. I wasn't in it for the whole 30, the whole quarter. Both of my lungs have collapsed. I'm recovering. I'm a living miracle. 
And I talk about all those things as well as my weight loss journey and basically cleaning, decluttering because I have so much crap in this house that I need to do whatever it is that I need to do to get rid of it and make things better. I share about my faith every now and then. I share about um, skincare and my reactions to it because I'm allergic to everything. So many things, it's unbelievable. And I do cleaning videos and just day in the life vlogs. So if you like all those things, then stick around. I hope you'll stay with me as we go along with Sophia not doing the same things as she is because clearly I couldn't even do the door. Yeah, I'm a little bit prissy. <laughs> I might not look so prissy right now, but apparently I'm a little bit prissy because <laughs> I ain't cleaning that door, it's gross. Could be why I've never cleaned it in seven years. I'm just saying. I'm not exactly sure why it took me over a month to put those back other than the fact that I'm lazy. I don't know how to be any clearer than that. It was pure laziness. That's all I can say. And I mean they were literally oop, right there and they belong right behind me in that TV stand. So it's done. I think we're nearly time to do the sink and that's it for the day. It's simple today you're really only supposed to do your sink if you're very first never doing any fly lady stuff i know the first day is your sink and the second day is self-care tomorrow will be right up my alley and hopefully this red nose won't be here tomorrow <laughs> i've got myself in a little bit of a pickle i don't exactly know how to get the thing out <laughs> because i should not stick my arm in there let me see if I can get it out with these tongs that are not going to be deep enough. But I guess it's the better of the two evils, just a little bit. We are about three minutes early. And um, I'm going to go ahead and keep using some of this water. Ooh, there is a bunch of stuff in there. <gasps> what is that? Do you see that down in there, in that corner? It's like a bunch of deposits of something. Oh, it's a scratch, Gina. Okay, according to Sophia, I need to rinse it because I want to be able to breathe, obviously. And bleach doesn't mix with anything. slightly confuses me because people put bleach and laundry soap together. So this is my cleaner of choice. I'm just going to sprinkle.
clean off my coffee pot because I got barkeeper's friend on it. Do not mess with the coffee pot. I'm telling you, don't mess with the coffee pot. Okay, so I guess the next thing is the polish. There's still some like um, residual like spots. So this is what we use. It's called Invisible Glass. It's basically an auto detailer product because my husband and my son detail cars. So that's what we're going to use and some paper towels. Um, apparently you're supposed to use a tea towel. And I'm going to try paper towels because I want all this off of here. And it smells good. I'm going to do the top and the faucet and then I'll go into the sink. The sink is basically done. I'm not happy with it at all. I think that maybe after you do it, you know, you're supposed to do it every every night for seven days in it. Well, every night. You're supposed to do it every night of your life. But for seven days, uh, the first seven days you do it. And um, I'm gonna show you, but I'm just not happy. So it looks not shiny to me. It looks dull. This is a new sink. I would say this sink is not even a year old. Um, and the barkeeper's friend did not do it any, any justice. I still see a mark over here from where I put, you know, some kind of soap or whatever that usually sits here. That's how that usually sits. And I guess I'm going to have to get a stopper for this side because that has got to get cleaned out and this is where my um, dishwasher comes out and when I say comes out oh my word does it come out and it just floods this area so normally we have a towel laying there to kind of direct the water into the sink so it stains and there's I mean it's better but it's it's definitely still got some spots so if you all know something that I can get that deposit off let me know I'm not real a fan. It's not shiny. I want it to be shiny. I'm almost considering the olive oil, but I'm going to wait till tomorrow and see what honey thinks. So I spent more than 15 minutes. I spent the hour because I did do the first thing, uh, which I didn't really actually work an hour. I bet I worked all together under 20 minutes. Of course, the filming makes it longer. Oh, crud. I put my bookcase together and I didn't save space for my games. I have all these vintage Monopoly Jenga Scrabble Yahtzee. Um, they need to go in there too. So I'm going to have to rethink the the um, cake plates. They were not in there prior to me just doing that. I think they're probably just taking up space. It looks good, but I think I'm going to go with the games. I think that the cake plates really brighten it up. But um, I really need the games in there out of my way because I need that shelf for storage. So that is it for day. Well, I got to find you some light. Blinded by the light. Okay, so you got a little bit of a tidbit of Gina. I have to really, really learn more about it because I really don't know much about it. Um, but I'm going to kind of follow Sophia's lead. So I'll put her playlist below. My video will be in it as well as hers and whoever else does it. If you want to do it, if you are a creator, feel free. And if you're not and you want to do it, make sure you let me know. Maybe you could follow me on Instagram or um, Facebook and at see the Gina. We can um, connect that way and I can see what you're doing. That would be great. Okay, so if you're still here, you're a Gina fan. So I thought I would give you the bonus added footage of seeing my whole house. And um, we'll see where we start and see where we end up. And I'm still looking at the stinking viewfinder. I'm doing a thing I hate. <clears throat> so you've really seen my living room. But I'll show you. 
So um, we still have not put anything on the wall because that cabinet is so heavy. Honey moved it four inches on yesterday or Saturday, I don't remember. But we need two men here to scoot that back down to center because we had the Christmas tree right there. So we scooted the TV stand all the way to the end. But we need it down at least another foot. And then on this wall solely, uh, I hang these two sconces. And it looks really pretty, but we had just painted this wall. We painted all of our walls back to a cream. Uh, it's called Navajo by um, Kelly Moore Paint. And it's not white and it's not cream. It's, it's kind of an off-white. So there's my living room. There's my sofa. If you didn't see how that came to be, I can link that below too. It's a video called Shenanigans. Hilarious video. And please don't pick on the Gina because my house is not clean. We're gonna kind of see where we're gonna go from here. So here's the guest bathroom. Pretty basic, dirty, got cleansers all over. Hi. All those movies need to be decluttered. We, we rarely touch them. People just don't do that. Let's see my kids. There's my son and his wife, little focus. The four grandbabies, there we are. Look how little I am. You ever wanted to see how little I am? There you go. Okay, so bedroom number one, please don't judge me. Okay, so here's this big tall boy up here with just little decorations. There's Big Bertha, she's so neglected. And then there's a TV over there that is not hooked up. The dresser, all the pictures that we took off the walls are still off the walls because we really did just paint. And this is my spring bedding that goes back on my master bedroom, which we'll get in there in a minute. And this is my guest room. I've shared these before. This is a series of pictures by Paula Vaughn. I have several of them. I think this might be the only one up in the house right now. My laundry area just needs attention. It's just straight up utilitarian. That's all there is to it. It's utilitarian. Oh, I don't even want to show you my beauty room, but here you go. So my vanity, this is where I film. Of course, none of the lights are on, but there's a million lights. It's a disaster right now. This is where I sit and watch TV. This is where I play, write, teach, piano, singing. Here's my little craft area. My sewing machine is down there, but I'm not really doing anything with it. Here's my bedroom. It is not clean. Again, nothing is cleaned, but I thought I would show you. So here's my bedroom. There's not much to it. We are in a rental. We're in one of the rentals. We sold our home, moved into one of the rentals, and never moved out. We like it. We like the area. It's close to everything. We were in the country. We don't. We like that we don't have a bunch of land. I really don't want to show you my bedroom, my bathroom, but I will. So this is my bathroom, and it's clearly a mess. Things out all over the counters. I'm trying out a new Dior moisturizer. It is the Dior Capture Total Rich Cream. I got it to kind of help this, this dry area. And um, remember that one day that I, I just came in here and washed it with a, a washcloth and just little beads of blood started bleeding out. Of course, it healed right up, but, you know, it's just, I was like, oh, your face is so dry. Well, you all that are still here know me, and you've been with me for a, a long time. You know how I am, how cracky and dry, whatever I am. Someone that I don't know from Adam, like from Adam, never heard from this person before, and they are not uh, subscribed that I could tell basically said, I zoomed you in and there was no blood. Why lie? <laughs> I was like, kid, you don't know me at all. If you think I'm going to lie about that, I might tell you exactly what I think of you, but lying about bleeding is just stupid. 
I'm like, if you don't have nothing better to do, you need to just move on down the road. Because we don't need that crap around here. Yeah, it was funny. I del And that was what, I, if you watched my tag video, you know. I went, delete, and if she comes back, I will block the crap out of her. We don't need that garbage on here. If it ain't positive, I'm negative enough. I have enough wrong with me. I don't need people making it worse. And neither do you, because you don't need to look through the comments and see it. And I don't need anybody being my hero. I can be a hero myself. Don't be ugly to them. I'll just get rid of it. But yeah, I'm like, why? So that's it for today. If you're still here, I appreciate you. And I will catch you next time. Bye-bye. God bless.